Hello everybody, what's up you guys? Welcome with me to watch some NHL 14 gameplay. And this time I'm here to talk about some of the features that were promised for the next version of this game, NHL 15. This is coming this September. And it's, it will be the first virtual ice hockey simulator to arrive for the next generation platform. So there's going to be some pretty interesting features there, as well as the whole visual aspect of the game. It's going to be a lot more polished, not that the, the PS3 or Xbox 360 versions had any problems with the visuals, not at all, but there's still still some polishing to do until, well each time we try to go it's going to be more, more and more realistic, every aspect, and now with the power of the next team, next generation consoles we can expect a lot more animations and uh, what they promised were the reactive audiences and there's gonna be a lot a lot of other things to do about the the gaming physics the physics of the puck and the whole new collision engine and that's gonna be really interesting how it plays out because it's going to be like a destruction derby out there in the in the rink if there are many many human control players it's going to be really really close quarter battle near the sides of the rink and it can be chaos but let's just see how it goes and Okay, let's focus on this match here. I'm playing the Hockey Ultimate Team, which will probably continue with the upcoming upcoming game as well, and all the enhanced online online game modes, which which are extremely popular with all the not we not to forget the local multiplayer, which is pretty much one of the main reasons to buy this game that and the online multiplayer makes this game really fun to play but the, we can always see how how well the EA is going to perform when trying to make the artificial intelligence up to the task playing against human players because after some time it might get a bit dull to play against the computer and we shall see if this is going to change with all the randomness of the new physics and improved goalies and other special points of interest they're trying to address here but on time, I'm pretty sure that the demo is going to is going soon to be out, and I'll be playing it on my PS3. I don't have a PS4 yet, but we will see if I'm gonna get it for this game and for FIFA 15 as well. But in a way, it's going to be really really high expectations for the next NHL game though it is unrivaled and there won't be any other studio making as I told so it's really the basic thing is running unopposed so it's gonna give the developers some thinking trying to improve the game 
Usually what EA does is move like place it safe and move like in baby steps. Nothing too radical, it's just gonna be a little more refined version of the game and with a little better visuals and more responsive controls and improved physics and all those things you might expect from game. Still, with all the licenses and other things in control, ES Sports pretty much has a has the kind of monopoly on that area. So, if there's only one game, so naturally it's going to have all the licenses as well. But it will be nice to see if they'll at some future future time there would be a version of the ice hockey, hockey game that would also focus on the European major series like the Russian KHL series because there are some great players playing there but it's gonna take some time and while the NHL is the top series in the world uh, this, this kind of this kind of toleration to the Russian series can be accepted, but it would really boost this this game. As far as you think about the to attract, attract somewhat more players, but since it's the only game out there, is either pick it or leave it this time. Good poke check to free that but I've been hopeful about the series. It's NHL 14 was pretty fun to play, and I was at some point pretty good at it. I have all the I got the feel feel on and he played with a natural flow. And but every once in a while, when there are longer periods of time, when not playing the game, I usually get a little rusty. And that's that. Still, so there are some people that like to play this game like 24 7, and that is really what surprises me. But it's nice to see where the things will be going in the next generation. Hopefully, I have a lot of friends I can play with this game locally, and the more will be online. So. There's some rivalry <laughs> in there as well. That's a goal scoring effort right there. Not on Natty's mind. Checked away, couldn't get it. Needs to move it. But in short, uh, in spite of the lack of certain competitors, when it comes to game developers trying to avoid this whole ice hockey as a sport, I remain hopeful that EA does what EA does best and gives us a little polished version of the game a little, a little bit of improvement on every every possible area I don't, I don't in EA's case believe in miracles but uh, that's what we get we don't really have that much choice and considering it is a monopoly as it's sports games in ice hockey and EA has many of those things with American football and other games like baseball I guess not in basket basketball though but still they are the the major player in sports games, so there is there is that one aspect. I hope that in time there will be more, a lot more developers trying to take up the challenge and uh, try to give, uh, give some competition to the esports. But it's all about the resources, so I'm pretty sure we are not going to see any real rivals soon. There's the 
you only mind you once saw the NBA 2K series and the Pro Evolution Soccer by Konami. That's it. What? Let's remain hopeful and we will see what comes next. But you can expect as always a, a quality game. And nothing. Nothing more than that, hard to say. At this point, I haven't played the game yet. I can see the gameplay trailers and all the all the I put it boosted reviews and previews of the game because EA is making sure that everything out there in YouTube and other other channels is as positive as it can be. So. That's marketing for them, so trying to pay off as many YouTubers and bloggers to support their product and do it, so do it a good reputation even before it's come out. But I'm not one of those guys yet. I wouldn't really be too much offended if I had some company behind me to endorse their game spot. And it is now, that's not the case, so we'll just worry about it then. There's that much to say really at this point. It's been a while since I did a video, so I'm being really busy with other stuff, trying to rest and taking it easy really. But let's just see how it goes. I'm that summer I'm a bit sick, so I had nothing else to do than make this video on voiceover. And I thought that it would be a good idea. And it would be an interesting, interesting fall, I gather. Not about the. Well, gaming is gaming, it's always about the quarterly advancement but the world economy is now getting better at this moment so people might just want to save some of that money for for really their everyday everyday needs and that's gonna make a big dent for the gaming companies in the future so there's not gonna be that much money to be spent on video games and many people will lose their jobs and game won't, won't continue in the same sense we hoped it would and I'm pretty sure there is no way that people can afford in the future play like pay like something worth 60 bucks for a game or 50 60 euros per per title so that's going to change at some point. There will be more like free to play and and unlocking with, with money. But the financial structure has to change there as well. And we this could be that we are witnessing the last generation of, in this next coming two years or so the video game will cost like the uh, 50, 50 bucks, 60 euros or something like that and after that it's going to be like the price of a PC game of like 25 or 30, 40 bucks or less even free to play and without the online with other online options we don't know but as it is the case with the global economy it's going to there's going to be some big changes on the way and, uh, I'm not really aware about that but that's just the way it goes we have an, the way the finances are structured at this moment are not healthy for the for the vast majority of popula global population, so there's going to have to be some changes. So, in the meantime, let's the enjoy what we can. It's a, it's an unfortunate world at this point, and we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Okay, that's going to be all for now. A little bit of stuffed. 
just getting my my voice over a little better. It's been a while, I'm really rusty on that part of my video making. So let's just see how it goes. This is gonna be the and I'm a voiceover, so if you want to say more, I'll be posting some new videos hopefully sooner than later. But in my case, I can't really know it's been real hectic around and the world is changing fast, so I have no much time. Not that much time for video games as much as being really into sports and watching how the world works, world works and global stuff really trying to trying to uh, just get a hang of things. Okay, that's off now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Too handsome. Has it at the point. Great deke, and he's got it on the stick. You want to give the offense a chance? Keep that puck in the zone. He does. Richards to Callahan. Two on two the other way. Moves it to the blue line. To be exo. Lot on it. Not gonna make it. It's a player. Quick opportunity. Shooter shot. Goaltender save. Nice use of the stick. To Markov. Looks like we've got a delayed call coming. Uh, referee's got his arm up here. Play will go on for the moment. Julio's gonna go, tripping the call. Defensive team win on that draw. That's going to move the puck up and out. A lot of color jerseys around him. Pokes that away. Breaks it up in the zone. Oh, man. Tremendous hit. There's a good pass. Up the wing to Booth. One-timer. There's the shot. Big time save with that stick. Through center to Pommonville. Look at the offensive opportunity. Three on one. Picks it up. Good save that time. He denied any room to move. And another penalty call. We'll see what it is as he heads over to the box. Garrison's getting the call. Two minutes slashing. Kopitar's face-off efforts in this close game, Bill, are not getting it done. Really low winning percentage. You can't win like that. Defenseman hanging on on the breakaway. Save made on a breakaway chance. Great goaltending. See if anybody can get a buzzer beater running out of time here in the third. To Kuhleman. Finds a little room on the side and he'll move it up. To Kopitar. Big time shot. Pad save. Nice effort. Great pass. Dangerous scoring area. Had it, decided not to freeze it. Man, that's a dangerous pass. Myers. Needed to get that puck out of there, and he did. He's cleared it the length of the ice. Knocks the puck off his stick. Oh, did he flash the pad on that? Great save. And on a breakaway. Well, we can mention shut out now and not jinx the goaltender. He was under pressure from the get-go. He had a bit of offense to work with, and he made it work in his favor. So it's always special to pick up a shutout, and he did. Nabokov's goaltending tonight, Bill, as noted. He really was sensational, and it's a shutout win as a result. All right, let's go back while we got a minute and see uh, what some of the big plays were tonight. That's going to do it. I'm Gary Thorne. On behalf of Bill Clement, we thank you for joining us, and we'll catch you the next time up.